to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Balissa M and today I'm going to be reviewing this hair from Hair Spells. Before I show you the hair, I'm going to show you how I toned it using purple shampoo. These are the shampoos that I use. So I'm going to be adding the purple shampoo into some warm to hot water and, and then I'm going to mix it in with a brush so there are no lumps and so that um, the shampoo doesn't get to stick to the hair because if that happens then your hair could turn purple. The reason why I'm toning my 613 blonde hair is because as you can see it's a little bit yellow and it's brassy. I like it to be on the kind of light side like it sort of goes to a white or silverish kind of blonde and that is what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm dipping it in and out just to start off with then I'm going to brush through the hair just to make sure that all the strands are getting coated. It's going to give like a highlight. Some strands are going to be lighter and some strands are going to be darker. Then I left it in the shampoo for about 5 to 10 minutes and now I'm rinsing it off. You want to make sure that you rinse all of that purple shampoo out of the hair. To finish off, I am going to be using this Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner and I'm just going to glug it all over the hair and I'm going to brush it through into the hair, leave it for a little bit and then I am going to rinse it out and hang the hair to dry and that is how I toned 613 hair. So now time for the install. I'm going to be installing it as per usual, wiping away all the extra oils on my head. I did go ahead and curl the hair off camera, so I'm just going to put the wig on my head. Personally, I like to pin the hair away from my face so it makes it easier for me to work. I'm going to start off with the ear tabs and I'm just going to go in with my scissor and cut my ear tabs so the wig can lay flat above my ears. Then I'm going to go in with my Got To Be Glued Blossing Free Spray and I'm just going to put that right in front of my hairline and I'm going to do the other side as well. I'm pulling the frontal forward and I am slicking down that lace with this end of the comb. I'm going back in with the got to be glued spray on top of the lace because I felt like some parts were starting to lift. Then I'm going to melt the lace with an elastic band. And now it's time for me to cut the lace. So I'm going to make an incision right in the middle. And then I am going to cut on either side. Um, I don't like to leave too much lace. It all boils down to preference. So I'm just cutting it in small sections because the lace is already secured with the got to be spray. After cutting the lace, you can now see I've got edges. So what I'm going to do is melt those edges in with the got to be spray. And I'm just spraying that directly on the edges of the hair that you can see. And I'm going to lay that down again with the elastic band. Parts, 
After removing the elastic band, you can still see a bit of the lace but I'm not worried because my makeup will fix that. And voila, there we go, my makeup is done, you can't see the lace anymore, it is blended. I'm just going to unpin it and I'm going to comb through those curls with a white tooth comb. This hair did hold the curls quite decently, I was going for like a curly vibe and it is body wave hair originally. So to help it blend in, I am going in with my concealer brush. I didn't put any fresh concealer on it. I'm just using what was left over on the brush after doing my makeup. And then I'm just going to sleek down the front and the roots of the hair with my hot comb. To finish off and give it some sleek and shine, I'm finishing off with the OGX Keratin Oil. This smells so good. Okay guys, so I have done the install. This is what the hair looks like. And I did curl it. It came as a body wave. Okay, so here are the details for this hair. It is the 130 density um, Brazilian hair blonde. It's a 613 wig. And it is a 13 by 4 frontal wig. And my cap size is a medium and I felt like it was a bit too big. I do have a big old head. This is from Hair Spells Hair and um, I like the hair. The quality is good. The hair is soft. The hair is a little bit dry so I think when I wash it the next time I am going to do a deep conditioning treatment on it. And I am going to give it some dark roots. Um, and tone it a bit further because I wanted like really ashy blonde but this is what the hair looks like you guys I think after a day or so the curls will keep loosening up and it will look even better but you can see I just toned it with purple shampoo and it turned out pretty great Thank you so much for the guys at Hair Spells for sending me this hair to review. If you want the details of this hair, I will leave it down in the description box down below. Also, if you have any questions, have any suggestions, please leave them for me in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.